Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be wiring up a high pressure sodium lamp. There are four elements to this circuit. There is the lamp itself and the lamp holder. There is the igniter or the starter, the capacitor and the ballast. These four things need to be set for the power of the lamp. So this is a 250 watt sodium lamp. So therefore the ballast needs to be 250 watt. The regulator, or sorry, the igniter needs to be within that spec. This one's a 70 to 400 watt. So that covers most of the sodium lamps. The capacitor is a 30 mic. So to wire it up, first of all, we are going to have our power coming in to the ballast. It goes through the ballast, then goes to the igniter and then to the lamp. The capacitor goes across the mains between neutral and live. We're going to look first at the ballast because that's the start of the circuit. Different ballasts have different amount of taps. They're essentially just a, like a choke or a transformer. So there's a large wind of copper wire and all it does is it limits the current going to the lamp. If you have the wrong incorrectly sized ballast, it'll send too much power through, too much amperage through to the lamp. It'll get too warm and it'll blow. So this one here, we're going to just use the tap for 240 volts. This is five taps for the different voltages, 220, 230, 240, and 250. And this other one is set for 240 volts, so it just has an in and out. There's an issue with this one, it's buzzing quite loudly. So we're going to use this one here for this video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wire our positive into the 240 volt tap. So we have our power coming in on the positive into the ballast. From there it's going to come out of the common terminal and it's going to go into our igniter. On the igniter we have marked, it's marked B, L, P and N. N is neutral. B is, what is B? B is ballast and L, P is lamp. So the one marked B for ballast we're going to wire directly into the ballast. So we have our wire going from the ballast now into the igniter. The output from the igniter marked LP for lamp is going to the live of the lamp or the lamp holder. So that's going into one side, the live side of our lamp. So all we need to do now is put our neutral from the lamp into our neutral incomer. And also we need to give the igniter a neutral. So we've given our igniter now a neutral and we've also given a neutral to the other side of the lamp. Apologies about the look of this ballast. I know it looks fairly rough but it does still work. So for the circuit to function properly we need to add our capacitor and we do that by just placing it between the live and neutral like so. So that's the circuit ready to light now. We've added our capacitor, we've our igniter wired in, and the power runs through our ballast. So if I plug this in now, hopefully we should have light. So sodium lamps make a fair amount of racket and noise when they're starting up. And it takes about 60 seconds or so to get that orange glow that you'd be familiar with. There are lots of different types of igniters. They look different, a lot of them, but they will all have a wiring diagram on them and they'll have the three terminals, power in, power out, and a neutral. So hopefully that's of use to you if you're diagnosing one of these lights or rewiring one. Cheers, bye bye.